one way to describe my life at the moment is busy. I've got an hour gap now. Time for some training. I need to get the session done. I was a bit like, oh, should I do it? Should I sack off? No, I'm going to do it. I'm going to start things off with a cable chest press on the Cybex Bravo with the big Luke Hoffman. Let's go. <laughs> To keep the session nice and short, and also as well not too taxing because I'm not feeling 100% today, I did literally did two sets of chest, two sets of shoulders, two sets of back, two sets of biceps, and two sets of triceps, nice and easy. Each set was taken pretty much to failure, but the volume was obviously very, very low. In, out, done in 45 minutes, mate. Talk to me about this fresh, Little trim up, look, we're even gonna use a lens here. Look at this, mate, fresh. No better feeling is that? Probably is, but it's a good feeling. I'm absolutely starving. The only meal I've eaten today is my yogurt and granola meal. So I have 350 grams of 0% grease on yogurt and 80 grams of granola. And the time is 3.30. Let's go make some food. craving for bacon and eggs so we've gone for four eggs scrambled three bacon medallions and two bagel fins more bueno i realized what i did before i play this clip i just want to apologize for the graininess of the image basically i had the iso turned up too high iso basically brings light into the shot so if you're in a dark room like I was, and it wasn't much like natural light coming in, you turn the ISO up and basically it makes the shot brighter. But the issue is when you turn the ISO up too high, you get this horrible grainy image, it's called like noise, and it looks horrible. I apologize. And the worst thing about it is as well, I'm apologizing, within this clip, I'm apologizing for the audio in the last video because I did something wrong with the microphone. I'm getting used to the camera guys, I'm sorry, but I will get better at it, I promise in the previous video with the audio on this camera, the Canon 80D with the Rode Video Mic Pro. Basically, it's a very silly thing what I did. I plugged it in, but obviously I'm like really scared and being really delicate with the camera. I plugged in, but I didn't push it the whole way. So it only picked up the left hand side. So if you listen to the last video in your headphones, you would only be able to hear it for the left hand side. So then I was like, oh, it's not working. What have I done? Oh, I might have to take it back. So I'm panicking. I was like, hmm, I'll just try pushing it a little bit harder just to see if it half worked. Pushed it in and clicked in. There we go, guys. Now we've got the audio. We've got the camera, we've got the audio. Let's start making some sick content in the future. What's happening tonight? We're going to the cinema. Date night, ladies and gentlemen. Friday night, day night. We're gonna go watch. The gentleman. The gentleman. It looks decent. It's got pretty good lighting. It's awful. It's got pretty good reviews. So we're gonna go watch that. But the best thing about going to the cinema, the thing that I get most excited for, is the pick and mix. <laughs> If any of you love a British gangster film, I would highly recommend you go watch The Gentleman. Honestly. An incredible film, a solid 8.5 out of 10. The plan for this morning is we caffeinate and then we go do morning cardio. 30 minutes of low intensity steady state cardio done. I've also trained a few clients. Now I have a gap, so I'll do my leg session. I'm gonna start things off with the seated hamstring curl. What I'm gonna think about doing within this moving is movement is pushing my hips as hard as I can back against the pads. So I'm gonna really force myself in to keep my hips locked. Then all I'm going to do is drive, think about driving my heels to my bum, contract it as like hard as I can at the bottom within that shortened position of the hamstring, and then slowly eccentrically loading on the way up, pause within that lengthened position, and then continue within that manner. 
Next up is going to be the Nautilus glue dryer. We're going to do two sets here. We're going to do one top set, which is going to be between six to ten reps, and one back up set, which is going to be between the ten to fifteen reps. What I'm going to think about within this movement is when I get to that top portion, I want to really extend my hips as much as I can to fully shorten those glutes, and then slowly, eccentrically loading the way down. To finish off the hamstrings, I'm going to jump on the 45 degree hip extension. I'm going to make it hamstring dominant. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to think about, I'm going to think about driving my knees into the pad while I extend myself up, making sure that my back is staying neutral and I'm simply extending through the hip and driving my knees into the pad as hard as I can. It's going to make it very much, very much hamstring dominant and then slowly inch to inch in, eccentrically load on the way down stretch the hamstrings and then repeat the process. I'm going to do two sets of 10 to 15 reps here. Hamstrings and glutes done. First movement for the quads is going to be a banded leg press. The reason why I banded leg press is so I can get the machine's resistance profile to match my strength profile with my quads. So we know when the quads are in this flex position at the bottom, and they're weakest, and when they extend up to the top, they're gonna to be strongest within this movement. But the machine essentially becomes heavier at the bottom and lighter at the top. So now with banding the machine, it's gonna make it lighter at the bottom and heavier at the top, because it's gonna, the, the band's gonna create more resistance when we get to that pop, the top portion of the movement. So we're gonna match our strength profile of our to the resistance profile of the machine. Also, what I'm gonna think about when I do this movement having my feet shoulder width apart, sort of middle of the pad. I don't want to go too low, because essentially I'm going to be limited within dorsiflexion, so I'm not going to have to come as low as I normally would. So, so I sort of go like middle of the pad, shoulder width apart, coming down, really controlling the eccentric, because obviously the band's going to be wanting to pull you down slightly. So really controlling that eccentric, make it nice and slow. Slight pause at the bottom, and then when I'm driving up, I'm thinking about contracting my quads and slowly driving my heel, into the pad when I come on the way up. To finish off the quads, I'm gonna do two sets of leg extensions, both sets between 10 and 15 reps. When performing a leg extension, you wanna really emphasize that top portion of the movement where you are essentially extending your knees. Hold that position, contract the quads, because that's where they're fully shortened. Slowly, eccentrically load on the way down, pause at the bottom, and then Contract up. Guys, what's your thoughts behind that style of training for YouTube, if that makes sense? Like me recording my sessions. Do you like how I was sort of like going through the execution of the movements and then sort of overlaid it with the movement itself? Let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comment section down below. Plan for tonight is I'm gonna to go to the gym. I'm doing some recording for the muscle mentors again from 5 till 8 p.m. And I'm going for pizza with a good mate of mine, Mr. Sean Muller. He'll be watching this video hopefully. And hopefully a few beers as well because it is the 1st of February. Dry January is over. Very decent night out yesterday. It was nice, a few beers. Not enjoying the hangover though. I've got a slight hangover today. And this is not fun, I have not missed this. But I'm gonna end the video here, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, you know what to do. Smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, and you're watching this video, and you haven't subscribed to my goddamn channel yet, press the subscribe button, because it would be much appreciated. Cheers, guys.